division fight. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get back to his feet. Quick. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're gonna find yourself tapping and really wondering why, why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submissionist on this, huh? Ah, it's crazy. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. That one appeared to stun him. He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Aldo gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice knee to the body there. He's very tricky to throw that body kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. So just over 20 total strikes. And counting him now landed for the King of Rio, Jose L. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, oh, oh. This might be the biggest shot of the time. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight with Jair Rodriguez and Jose Aldo. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all... Oh! Hurt. Back to the feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to rotate that finish down now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, could be in trouble after that knee to the head. Both guys landing big shots. Some real power shots here. with these beautiful leg kicks. So we pull up the numbers here. 28 total strikes have landed for Jose Allen. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's gonna have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some 
really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any. Show signs of swelling. Gets the elbow up into the target. Looks like he might attempt the guillotine now. And he's out. 15 seconds. Gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over he landed that big punch, and every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. Here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very good. They should right off the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say his great are the ones that get there first, and it got right from the corner. Back to the feet. Rodriguez gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea start to check some of these. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. So unofficially 69 total strikes and counting have now landed for the King of Rio, Jose L. And just below 50% landing at a 46% clip tonight against Yair Rodriguez. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committed to it fully. Throws his jab, he makes yeah. it. Thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Oh! A near-perfect strike.